We've got a lot of news to get to, and we're going to begin with those new developments in that deadly plane disaster in Iran. Growing suspicion this morning that the Ukrainian airliner was brought down by an Iranian missile. Iran is still denying responsibility, but new video has surfaced, appearing to show the moment a missile hits down in the jet, killing all 176 people on board. Our senior transportation correspondent David Curley starts us off with the latest. Good morning, David. Good morning, George. Despite the growing chorus of national leaders and the growing body of evidence, Iran again and this morning is denying that it shot down that Ukrainian 737 with 176 on board. And that despite this latest piece of evidence, that video apparently showing a direct hit. Iran this morning denies that this is the moment of impact, a skyward missile hitting that 737, a momentary flash of light and seconds later, an explosive sound. Taken from a neighborhood where the Ukrainian jet was last tracked, the video appearing to confirm what a U.S. source tells ABC News, that intelligence sources are confident an Iranian anti-aircraft missile hit that jetliner. This video of the crippled jet captured in this Tehran neighborhood, the jet in flames breaking apart and exploding three miles away. The power of that ground impact captured by a CCTV camera and shown on Iranian media. This morning, national leaders from Britain, even Ukraine, echoing what Canada's Prime Minister first declared. The evidence indicates that the plane was shot down by an Iranian surface-to-air missile. This may well have been unintentional. 63 Canadians were among the 176 lost in the crash. The American intelligence community believes that Iran turned on and aimed a radar at the jetliner a radar signal to guide anti-aircraft missiles from a mobile launcher. A U.S. satellite saw the firing of two missiles at the 737. The warheads of those missiles would explode near the aircraft, spraying shrapnel that would pierce the aircraft in multiple locations. Pictures of the wreckage seem to highlight holes blasted through the jet, shrapnel holes. Experts suggest that just less than four hours after Iran had fired missiles at American targets in Iraq, Tensions were high in the Iranian anti-aircraft batteries, and a mistake may have been made, which killed dozens of Iranians as well as those Canadians. They were basically the, the kindest souls that I knew. Many of those Canadians on board were students. Words simply cannot express the grief that we are feeling on campus. We're a, we're a close-knit community. The Ukrainian president paused for those lost as he called for an open investigation and for the West to share that radar and satellite data. Iran has been defiant, an official claiming it was scientifically impossible to shoot down the jetliner. But look at what the Iranian government did. This was the scene just after the crash. ABC News obtained this exclusive video just about 24 hours later, and the wreckage has been cleared, the evidence gone. Iran again this morning showing off the black boxes, but apparently has not pulled the data from either one. The answers to this tragedy are in those boxes and that cleaned up wreckage. Iran has now invited Western countries to take part in the investigation, including the U.S., but because of a technicality, the NTSB can't accept it until the Trump administration says so because of sanctions. If the NTSB is allowed to participate, it's most likely it will invite Boeing as well. Cecilia? Okay, David Curley, thank you. There are still so many questions about this, so let's bring in our aviation analyst, Steve Ganyard. Steve, good morning. So assuming this was an accidental shoot down, how could something like this happen? It's, it's inconceivable, isn't it, Cecilia? Uh, how could you shoot down an airliner with innocent civilians? But think about it, you had a poorly trained crew, Iranian crew, in the middle of a field, in the middle of the night, thinking that they were about to get attacked, and they see an aircraft, they lock it up, they pull the trigger, and they shoot. Uh, a terrible, terrible mistake. And it, it's happened before. Uh, you remember the Malaysian air shoot down just five years ago in the Ukraine. Uh, in 1988, a U.S. Navy ship shot down an Iranian jet. Uh, and in 2001, you had a Ukrainian uh, battery shoot down a Russian airplane. So, unfortunately, these terrible mistakes have happened in the past. We saw that video as you were talking now and in David's piece of, that seems to show the crash site already cleared. What happens to this investigation now? Well, as David said, we need to get international investigators in there as soon as possible because when you ball up all the wreckage like that, it's, it's think of it like a crime scene. You're contaminating the crime scene. You're not able to piece together what actually happened
based on what's remained. So we need to get inter international investigators in there and be able to look at the wreckage and piece together and find out what really brought this down and, and prove that it was a missile that the Iranians shot at this airplane. So if there is no crash site, the Iranians are now saying that the black boxes were damaged. Is all the evidence gone? Cecilia, so, so actually, in this case, I don't think the black boxes are going to be as helpful. They will show that this was a perfectly good airplane right up to the moment of impact. What we need to do is look at the metal of that aircraft, look for things like uh, residual uh, powder, look for shrapnel, uh, the kinds of things that would prove that this actually uh, was brought down by a missile. The Iranians are doing their best to cover that up, and so getting international investigators in there as soon as possible so we can tell the truth to the world is the most important thing that needs to be done now. So many questions. Okay, Steve Ganyard, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.